Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Scott Beebe, the Business On Purpose platform, where our ambition every time we hop on this Facebook Live is to help liberate you from the chaos of working in your business and try to give you the tools that you can possibly use to be able to leverage the time to work on your business. And a lot of times when we get to our Facebook Live time, what's been happening throughout the week uh, or in the previous week is we're seeing a lot of trends. And this week is absolutely no different. We're seeing the same trend over and over and over again. And it has to do with weekly schedules. And quite frankly, it has to do more so with small business owners feeling so chaotic from hour to hour. And so waking up on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday or on a Friday and not knowing exactly what their day is going to look like, whereas somebody who may be an employee kind of knows exactly what their day is going to look like. They're going to get there at 8. They're going to take a break at 10. They're going to go to lunch at 12. And so their day is a little bit more systematic, a little bit more methodical. But for a lot of small business owners, many times what ends up happening is the day is wide open. And what do I do with a wide open day? And so while on the outside that looks like freedom, it can actually be a prison uh, for many uh, small business owners. And so I wanted to show you a tool real quick that I thought might be helpful for you when you're trying to think through and get out of that habit of just having a wide open day in front of you and instead to leverage that to drill down and to start to use that to actually do uh, work on the business rather than spending so much time working in the business. And so it's a technique, it's a tool that we use. It is not going to blow your mind. I'm going to go ahead and let you know that up front. But I was meeting with a business owner last week and he was feeling this way. And so what we did is we opened his calendar and we realized that nothing was in his calendar. Yeah, there were a couple of things like a doctor's appointment and something else here, but then it was just all blank space. And so he was kind of at the whim of what was going on, which was causing him to be reactionary rather than proactive in his day. So I want to share with you something that should be helpful. And I'd like for you to share this if possible. So take this post and share it, especially if you're in a network with other small business owners. Feel free to share it. But I want to show you a tool that will allow you to be proactive in your day rather than being so reactive. You know, you might say, I feel like I'm... So if you look on here, you're going to think, my goodness, Scott, it's just a spreadsheet. Remember, I told you, your mind's not going to be blown. That's okay. Instead, what I want you to look at is what's inherent in the spreadsheet. All right? This is really important. So notice that I've, I've put in a chunk of time in here on the left-hand side that encapsulates a lot of the day that you're awake because I even want you to plan your unscheduled time. I said that right. So there is even some free time I want you to schedule. I saw a business owner yesterday, and he was out in the community. I said, hey, man, what are you doing? What's going on? And he said, it's my free time. And so he'd actually scheduled that. Now, some of you are thinking, I am not scheduling my free time. Well, then you might be at the whim of everything else that goes on. And you know what else? We've come up with a phrase this week that I think is really powerful. And that is that your words and your time as a business owner are hydraulic. I want you to think about a hydraulic. Why can a front end loader or bucket pick up so much weight and all you have to do is pull a lever? The reason is, is because of hydraulics. And so as a business owner, your words are hydraulic. So just a little bit of push and it's going to lift a lot of weight or push a lot of things. And so your team is waiting on you. They want you to set that time aside. They want you to sit down and have productive conversation. They, want, they don't want to be micromanaged if that's what you're leveraging that time for. They don't want that. But my goodness, what they do want is for you to sit down with them and say, how can I remove the roadblocks for you? How can I get you from where you are to where you need to go? And I even need to do a better job of that with our virtual team. Part of the way that that happens is by scheduling things out. So you start with a weekly schedule like this and then start with the big rocks, the things you know that do not change every single week. Things like team meetings. So you might come in here and put team meetings right here in the middle. Also, check email. Notice I have those throughout different blocks of the day, not all the time. I recommend turning your email off in between because what do they say about email? It's someone else's agenda for your day. That's what a lot of unscheduled phone calls are, and we're allowing all these impulses to come in, and we're not setting time aside. Now, I had this business owner tell me, but wait a second, Scott, you do coaching, so you have to be there. Like when you set a meeting with somebody, they're waiting on you to come. And I said, number one, no, I don't have to be there. If I want to eat, I have to be there, right? If I want to continue in business, I have to be there. But I don't have to be there. I While there may not be another human being in the building when you're doing business owner work, there are other people that are depending on you to know the forecast of your business, to know the trends, the ups, the downs, the peaks, the valleys, etc., to think through uh, sourcing, shipping, to think through bookkeeping, all of those macro things then trickle down 
to the individual roles in your business so that you can, uh, so that they can start living out their role with greater clarity. So here's what I want to challenge you to do. And my guess is statistically, you're going to buck against this. That's okay. It's hard work. This is the type of work that it takes to work on your business and not in your business. But I promise you, if you do this, it'll give you so much more value going forward and you will get to the end of the week, actually looking forward to the next week. I tell people all the time that Mondays are my favorite days of the week because it's the first day that we get to wake up and liberate small business owners from their chaos because we know exactly what we're going to be doing for the most part throughout that week. Are there times that are uh, chaotic? Are there times that I don't plan and schedule? Of course there are. But because we have less and less of those times, our week becomes more predictable. When our week's more predictable, we have more control over what happens and can deliver a better service to the small business owner when we've got this. So put the big rocks in here. What are the team meetings that you need to be at? What are the times that you need to be spending on your business? On a, on a Monday morning from 9 to 11, do you need to be spending that time alone in administrative duties, just looking at the business, taking a look at the reports, setting up your schedule for the end of the week? Start putting those rocks in there, and then you can build everything else around, and then you can leave some white space in there. Leave it open for some times that you feel the freedom just to have a little bit of free time. Hey, listen, I hope that helps. I hope you understand a little bit about why a weekly schedule is so crucially important. If you talk to a lot of the small business owners who have been through the four steps to business freedom, they will totally get it, and they'll start to, uh, they'll start to kind of sell you on the idea of weekly schedule because they bought into it and they've realized how transformative uh, that it really can be. Hey, make sure when you get a chance, go right here to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash guide. We've got a free guide in there for you to be able to audit your business where you're at right now and answer the question, am I spending more time working in my business or am I spending more time working on my business? So just go to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash guide right there and, uh, and you can check that out. It's our delight to be able to share it with you. So, by the way, if this is a new Facebook Live, just go back to the last post. My streaming got cut off and uh, should be good to go. Thanks for joining me.